Jurgen Klopp has secured his name in Liverpool folklore after leading the club to their first title in 30 years, as well as winning every other trophy available to them. Throughout his time at the club, Liverpool's work in the transport market has been lauded as some of the best around, with the likes of Andy Robertson and Mohamed Salah being signed for low fees, as well as spending the Coutinho money very well on the likes of Virgil van Dijk, Alisson and Falbinho. However, today I will be breaking down the first eight signings Jurgen Klopp made during his time as Liverpool gaffer and seeing where these plays are now today. Number eight, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Roma. Klopp's sixth and final signing in the 2016 summer window, Wijnaldum was signed from a recently relegated Newcastle for a fee of £25 million on the 22nd of July 2016. Only just making the threshold of this video, Wijnaldum was one of the most successful transfers in Jurgen Klopp's first year at Liverpool. Wijnaldum would go on to play 237 games for Liverpool between 2016 and 2021, playing a key role in both their Champions League and Premier League winning campaigns. His most memorable performance for Liverpool was when he came off the bench to score a brace in Liverpool's famous Champions League semi-final comeback against Barcelona. Wijnaldum left the club in 2021 after the expiration of his contract to join PSG on a big money three-year contract. The Dutchman's first season in Paris was a disaster, with him failing to break into Pochettino's team and disappointing whenever he played. And change in management at PSG didn't change his situation at the club, with the new manager Christophe Gautier shipping him off to Jose Mourinho's Roma on a season-long loan. Unfortunately for Wijnaldum, he fractured his tibula after making just one appearance for Roma. This injury kept the Dutchman out of his nation's World Cup squad and is expected to return from injury in March, where he will be hoping to reignite the form that he had during his time in Liverpool. Number 7. Alex Manninger. Retired. One of the most forgettable signings in Liverpool's history was the signing of 39-year-old Alex Manninger on a one-year contract to be the club's third-choice goalkeeper after Adam Bogdan and Danny Ward left the club on loan. Manninger spent the majority of his 22-year career as a second-choice goalkeeper, averaging only 14 games a season. Manninger, however, was the number two at some of the Europe's biggest clubs, including Arsenal and Juventus. This is where he was able to win both the Premier League and Serie A title. Manninger is well remembered for playing a key role in the 97-98 title, having come in for an injured David Seaman at the back end of the season to great success, where he was able to keep six consecutive clean sheets, including one against Manchester United. These performances were so good that Manninger won the Premier League Player of the Month for March. Only nine goalkeepers have won this award in the competition's history. It was therefore a shock to Premier League fans that over 15 years after he left Arsenal, that Manninger was not only still playing football, but had signed for Liverpool. Manninger didn't make a single appearance for Liverpool in his one season at the club and retired from football at the end of the season. When retiring, Manninger said he would return to his roots and do some construction work, property work and furnishing. Number six, Ragnar Klavan, free agent and president of Talana Kaliv, a player who spent two years at Liverpool where he became that of a cult figure. Klavan was signed from Augsburg for 5 million euros as Jurgen Klopp's sixth Liverpool signing. Signed as a backup defender after Klopp cleared out the centre back department that were leaking goals like a sieve for Brendan Rodgers. Sacco, Sertl, and Colo Torre all departed the club in the 2016 summer. Across his two seasons, Klavan played 53 times for Liverpool with him being remembered as a reliable defender and a great leader in the young and energetic squad Klopp was building. He scored his first and only Premier League goal on New Year's Day 2018 against Burnley, which was a last-minute winner. Ahead of the 2018-19 season, Clapham was allowed to leave the club after the signing of Virgil van Dijk in January 2018 and the emergence of Joe Gomez meant there was no longer a role for him at the club. Clavan joined Syria club Cagliari, where he was a regular starter when fit across his three seasons at the club, helping the club survive in all three seasons at the club. After 64 games for Cagliari, 
he returned to Estonia in 2021 to play for Pada Linkmanskod, where he helped the team win a domestic cup in 2022. Klaban's contract expired in January 2023, with a 37-year-old defender yet to announce his future in the game. He has also been the president of the oldest football club in Estonia, Telaniv Kaliv, having had this role since 2016. Number 5. Sadio Mane, Bayern Munich From a couple of signings that had left the club before they started winning cups, to one of the most important components of the Klopp era at Liverpool, Sadio Mane joined Liverpool from Southampton for £33 million, a deal that in hindsight seems a bargain, had many pundits questioning it at the time, with the deal making Mane Liverpool's second most expensive signing ever. Mane had two very impressive seasons at Southampton, where he scored the fastest hat-trick in Premier League history and scored double-digit goals in the Premier League in both his seasons. At just 24, the signing was the first example of Klopp signing a young player for a middling fee and turning them into one of the best players in the world. Across his six seasons at Liverpool, Mane scored 120 goals in 269 games and won everything he could in club football. Mane also won a lot of individual awards during his time at Liverpool, including a Golden Boot, Liverpool Player of the Season, four-time PFA Team of the Year inclusion and finishing second in the Ballon d'Or in 2022. Mane also led Senegal to their first African Cup of Nations victory in 2021, where he was the player of the tournament. At the end of the 21-22 campaign, Mane left Liverpool with a year left on his contract for £30 million to join German champions Bayern Munich. Mane has 11 goals in 23 appearances for Bayern so far. However, he missed the World Cup after injuring his fibula in Bayern's last game before the tournament. Before we go to number four, please remember to like and subscribe. Number four, Loris Karius, Newcastle United, a player who was seen as a bit of a joke after its final ever appearance for Liverpool in the 2018 Champions League final. Jurgen Klopp's fourth signing for Liverpool involved him returning to his former side Mainz to sign the very talented 23-year-old goalkeeper, who was ranked the second best goalkeeper by his peers in the Bundesliga in his final season at Mainz. In his first 18 months at Liverpool, Karius was competing with Simon Mignolet to be the club's number one at Liverpool, with both players rotating with neither goalkeeper pulling up any trees. In the second half of the 2017-18 season, Karius beat out Mignolet and became the undisputed number one, playing a big role in Liverpool finishing in the top four and reaching the Champions League final. Unfortunately for Karius, the biggest game of his career was also his worst, throwing the ball to Benzema to open the scoring before allowing a long-range Gareth Bale effort to slip through his hands. Karius's career at Liverpool was over that night. In the summer, Liverpool broke the record fee for a goalkeeper to bring in Brazilian number one, Alisson from Roma, for £65 million. Karius spent the next two seasons on loan at Turkish giants Besiktas, where he was the club's number one goalkeeper and grew in confidence the longer he was there. His second season at Besiktas was cut short after he sought legal action against the club after they failed to allegedly pay four months of his wages. Karius then spent a season on loan at Union Berlin, where he was the backup goalkeeper, and spent the final year of his contracted time at Liverpool as the club's third-choice goalkeeper, where he never made an appearance. He finally left Liverpool in the most recent summer and joined Newcastle on a one-year deal to be the club's backup goalkeeper. Number three, Joel Matip. Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp's first ever summer signing as Liverpool boss is the only one of his eight first signings to still be at Liverpool in 2023. Liverpool was able to sign the 24-year-old from Schalke on a free transfer after his deal ran out in Germany. The German-born Cameroonian international Joel Matip came through the Schalke Academy and spent seven years in the club's first team, helping them qualify for the Champions League four times reaching a Champions League semi-final in 2011 and winning the DFB Pokal in that same year. Matip had a mixed first two seasons at Liverpool, with the signing of Virgil van Dijk in the 2018 January window, meaning he spent the rest of that season on the bench with Klopp preferring Dejan Lovren. Matip also missed the Champions League final through injury. Matip's whole career at Liverpool has been marred by injuries, with the 1920 and 2021 seasons being especially tough 
limiting him to just 25 appearances across both seasons. When fit, however, Matip has been a class player, with his 21-22 season being in particularly good. Quapping Liverpool win the FA Cup and League Cup, Matip has also won the Champions League and Premier League whilst at Liverpool. Number 2. Stephen Corker, Wigan Athletic. Jurgen Klopp made two signings in his first window as Liverpool boss, the second of which being the lone signing of QPR defender Stephen Corker. Corker is the player on this list who has had the most intriguing and troubled story after leaving Liverpool. Corker was signed as an emergency backup defender, but was used in a more interesting way by Jurgen Klopp. Corker was used as a target man forward off the bench late in games, with him famously setting up a 95th minute winner for Adam Lallana against Norwich. Unfortunately, after just four games for the club, Corker was checked into rehab after some drunk and disorderly offences. Corker has since said the alcohol and gambling addictions were an escape from the pressures of professional football, starting after he broke into the Tottenham first team and making and scoring his England debut as a 21-year-old. Corker has said drinking addiction limited him to 50-60% to of his capabilities. After leaving Liverpool, Corker spent a few years in the football wilderness, having two seasons at Dundee where he only played 17 games. Corker got his career and life back on track with a move to Turkey. Corker spent three seasons playing regular football for Alanya Spore. After playing for a few more Turkish clubs, Corker finally made his return to English football in January 2023 to sign for championship outfit Wigan Athletic. In 2021, Corker changed his international allegiances from England to Sierra Leone, where he played for his nation in the 2021 African Cup of Nations. Number 1. Mark Ruich Porto Jurgen Klopp's first ever signing only managed 16 appearances for the club in his five and a half years on the books. 19-year-old Gruwich was immediately sent back on loan to Red Star Belgrade after signing for Liverpool for £5 million. In his first season and a half at Liverpool, Gruwich missed four months with a hamstring injury and only made 14 appearances across all competitions. Gruwich was then sent on loan for the second half of the 17-18 season to Cardiff, where he helped them navigate themselves to the Premier League promotion. Gruwich spent two seasons on loan at Hertha Berlin, where he put in very impressive and consistent performances that would have been enough to force him into worst Liverpool teams of the past. Unfortunately for him, Jurgen Klopp didn't think there was a place in this team for Gruwich, and he was then sent on loan to Porto for the 2021 season. Gruwich quickly became a key player in Porto in the middle of the park and did enough to convince the Portuguese giants to hand over £10.5 million to sign the Serbian permanently. Gruwich played 36 times for Porto, helping them win the Primera in the 2021-2022 season and continues to be a key part of the Porto side this season. Gruwich was also part of both Serbian squads for the past two World Cups. Thanks for watching. Which of these players did you forget played for Liverpool?